And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, two years and both years had record cold weather at the same times in May. I'll show you what I mean here. 1882 and 1883, May 21st through the 23rd on both those years. Record cold high temperatures and record cold low temperatures that caused plant damage. The 1882 freeze was the worst. We got down to 30 degrees. We had a high of 48 the day before. We actually had four to six inches, six inches of wet snow in Iowa, believe it or not, in late May. And then 1883, we dropped to freezing. Again, high temperature 48, but it wasn't the latest freeze on the record. The latest freeze, May 27th, 1961, when we dropped to 30 degrees. Now, this is May 23rd, 1882. This is high pressure. So high pressure right over our area that morning. Widespread frost form with the calm winds. And then in 1883, the high was down here. We had a little bit of wind. You notice these lines a little tighter together. A little bit of wind, not as much frost. But you get the idea, two years with just unprecedented cold. Now, we don't have to worry about that now. Tonight's going to be in the 40s. Shouldn't hamper you from viewing this meteor shower. It's a little uncertain as to how many meteors we're going to get per hour, but there will be at least some potentials there for a, a pretty significant meteor shower event, though we've passed through this tail of a pretty small comet. Midnight to 6 a.m., look northward. Now, notice the weather headlines really for the next week. A very nice Memorial Day weekend ahead, but it will warm up very nicely as we get into next week, turn humid. And we've got some scattered storms on the way, really Monday through Thursday. And a couple may turn severe later next week. Tonight, though, 44 Logansport, Winnemac, 48 Lafayette, 49 Covington. So rather cool tonight. But it's going to warm up very nicely tomorrow. Shorts weather, 81 Lafayette, Romney. 77 Logansport will be in the low 80s, Covington Kingman to Crawfordsville on Sunday, even warmer. Mid 80s for the Indianapolis 500, a lot of sunshine, 81 Rochester, 85 at Lafayette. High rest future cast shows the mostly clear skies tonight and the mostly sunny skies tomorrow. That's tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, mostly clear tomorrow night and even on Sunday. The weather looks very good. But we do have a couple storms to worry about on Monday, but no cool down. Actually, it's going to warm up. Notice how there is no cool air waiting in the wings anywhere. It was warm today all the way up to far northern Manitoba, northern Alberta, Canada. So it's going to stay warm for a while here. We've got several days of 80s in the forecast. The main steering flow is way north of here. So it'll stay warm, but this is an upper low that's spinning here with all these showers and thunderstorms. This will slowly wobble eastward, and that could bring some scattered storms pretty much every day next week. Now, Monday, I wouldn't cancel my plans. Just a few widely scattered pop-up storms, 86. Some scattered storms uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with highs mid to upper 80s. Muggy overnight lows near 70, and then we cool up a little bit. We're back to 80 by Friday. Not bad for a meteor shower tonight, too. Right? Yeah, nice and clear. All right. Well, I hope that uh, the Pacers bring the pain tomorrow night, and yeah. hopefully they'll be fully loaded with all their players. Exactly. Yeah, let's put it this way. The Pacers lost game two without or with Paul George at home. Well, I don't know what it would be like with 